Bjorn Straustrup, creator of the programming language C++, talked with us about the relationship of coding languages and competitive programming. It's a somewhat unusual situation for, um, for a developer, programmer, computer scientist to have to handle a whole problem in a very short uh, period of time, and especially many problems, but it actually puts demands on some of the, the classical computer science and development problems. I mean, you need to do your problem solving. You have to um, know to think according to the usual rules and get things done uh, efficiently, reliably. And then you have to think outside the box also. If you only think outside the box, you miss all the obvious uh, things that will make things go fast. And if you only think, think inside the box, well, the people who set the, um, um, set, set the, the problems know about that, and that's not going to get you there either. Uh, but you need, you need your algorithms, you need your data structures, and if speed is of importance, you need to know a little bit about your systems and your machine architectures. So it's absolutely classical uh, computer science uh, that, that comes to the fore here. Straustrup C++ is an effective language for the ICPC problem solving, he said. I actually think that goes back to, to the previous things. If you want to express an algorithm uh, close to optimally, if you want to have a data structure represented directly, simply, and effectively, um, there's no language that's better than uh, C and C++, and especially C++. With C++, you can then can this in terms of, of libraries, and so it's easy to use, and you can have generic algorithms that are very useful, so that's important. And when it comes to actually representing these algorithms and data structures, which a lot of the solutions come down to, um, it'll run fast, and if you need to tweak something to do with the particular architecture or operating system, you can do that too. Um, in, if you use plain C, you end up slightly too low level, so it's hard to optimize and it's, it's, it's easier to make mistakes. And Java just gets you far too far away from the machine and also too far away from the real data structures. So too much indirection, too much um, convoluted thinking to, to get past the language. Uh, you need a language that actually helps you and allows you to express your ideas directly, and C++ is, is rather good at that. Straustrup said that although professional coders don't usually solve many problems in a short time like World Finals contestants do, the ICPC contest requires excellent programming skills. Well, the competitive situation is a bit unusual and there's a lot of pressure, but as, as I say, said, I think that it exercises some of the key notions of computer science, algorithms, data structures, machine architecture, and uh, C++ was designed to allow um, direct use of the machine and then abstraction from the machine so that you can write higher level constructs without loss of efficiency, and that, that becomes important in this kind of situation. Although the world finalists have shown they have what it takes to write great code, they will develop other strengths as they realize their potential as computer scientists. A lot of real world software is done in, in large systems and it's done in systems where reliability is important, reliability under maintenance pressure and maintainability is important and you don't really uh, get to, to show much of that here. It's a small, coherent team uh, writing a relatively small amount of code uh, that's going to be used once. And the other thing that is crucially dependent is, is communication skills. But the people that do well here, and certainly the people that win, uh, certainly has the first ability to uh, communicate, which is to understand what they're told, understand what the problem is, actually relate to uh, things that, that, that is coming to them, 
and they will have eventually to turn that around and actually express their ideas to others in a way that can be understood in, in, in writing and uh, verbally. So, so that's very important and I would say something about that, except it's probably not necessary for the really top guys. Similarly, I mean they've already gotten something, otherwise they wouldn't have got there. Similarly, there is a, a lot of um, group interaction. Um, clearly these guys will understand, I mean, guys in the New York's meaning of the guys of either sex, um, they, they obviously know how to work in small teams. Um, they can therefore probably also work in larger teams. And similarly, communication skills vary for the size of the group involved, but that, that's where a lot of the things they will not get to show here, but I assume they, they're pretty good at it already. Strauss-Jobs said the ICPC competition is great because students must both know how to solve problems and prove it by writing code that works well. Competition is, is an interesting thing and it gets people involved. And it's real in the sense you, you solve problems and you, you, you do real tasks. You just, don't just do a, a view graph design or, uh, or pretend you understand it and something like that. So it is, it is a very good idea, good way of, of getting your hands dirty and actually getting to, to the, the real meat of things. And actually I like code and I like programming and a lot of people talk too much about computer science and saying, oh code, that's boring. No, code is where the rubber meets the road. And I'm all for the rest of computer science, but let's not forget that anything that runs on uh, your computer, your camera, your wristwatch, or whatever uh, code runs these days, it is code in the end. And somebody has to um, translate the bright ideas first into a design, then into code. And I, I like the programming competition because it is programming. It solves the problem, it expresses it in code, and then you see that it works. For all the latest updates on the 2013 World Finals in St. Petersburg, follow us on icpcnews.com.